Father Jude D'Angelo is a Franciscan friar who serves as the campus chaplain and director of campus ministry at CU, Catholic University of America. Father, thanks so much for being with us today. It's a pleasure to be here, Father Reed. <laughs> well, Catholic University of America's campus ministry is supported by the conventual Franciscan friars in the St. Anthony of Padua province and the Lady of Our Angels province. Tell us why this ministry is so important, Father. Well, it is important for us as Franciscans. We have the, the great privilege of being able to have a number of our men serve together in one place and to evangelize the next generation. And what we've seen in the past couple of years is a number of our college campuses opening up for us to be invited by the bishops of the United States to serve. And uh, the president, the former president uh, uh, of our university um, invited us to come about 16 years ago uh, to serve here at the Catholic University of America and serve God's people here. Father Jude, uh, I have to give you a compliment, priest to priest. Uh, when we were down at CUA uh, last year or so, we had the chance to meet you and, and, and get introduced to some of the great work you're doing. And I saw on your face uh, a great excitement for, for what you do. And, and, and I sensed a real uh, love and appreciation among the young people there. If I was a student at CUA, I would be very, I would consider myself very honored and privileged to have you as my priest. Do you, do you, do you love the work that you do? Because it seems like you really do. I do. I really love it. And it's a privilege here at, at the Catholic University of America. We have a great team. Um, three of my brothers are with us, uh, uh, also serving in the, in the office of the chaplain chaplaincy and campus ministry, and then we have wonderful lay people, religious sister, so it's a great place, and these students are outstanding. Well, back in 2008, Catholic University of America established the first college chapter of Catholic, Catholic Athletes for Christ, and there is an active Catholic Daughters Court among the many other offerings for Catholic life on campus. Why are these efforts so vital in student life? Well, I think they're so vital in student life because you can't expect students to walk through the campus ministry door. Mm -hmm. We have to go meet them. We have to uh, allow the faith to penetrate all aspects of campus life. So we're very proud of our Catholic Athletes for Christ and uh, the young men and women who work with um, Lou Kalevin, our associate campus minister for athletics and men's ministry, uh, to, to really see how can campus ministry work with the athletes of our, of our university, because their schedules are so busy, so tied up, um, we need to be there. Catholic Daughters, we have an active Knights of Columbus, a superb chapter of a fraternity. Um, we have all kinds of student organizations that are uh, part of our, our um, faith organizations. And then we have so many more that aren't, but our students still want us to come and speak to their groups uh, to be a part of their life. And so that's what we try to do. Father Jude, you know, I've been a parish priest uh, for 28 years now. I've always been curious what it might be like to be a, a university chaplain. What is a typical day like for you as the, the chaplain and director of campus ministry at CUA? Well, I, I, I was thinking about that question. I figured you were going to ask that. I don't think there's any typical day. Um, you know, it's like every other priest in the world. Um, you, you keep your door open and um, the people of God come in and out. Uh, we always have an open door policy here in campus ministry. So if a student just wants to talk or go to confession or ask a question about the faith, there's somebody, you know, here to meet with them. Um, our day begins as friars. Uh, in the morning, we pray together at, at 745. Uh, we're in the office by nine o'clock in the morning. We have our staff meetings. Uh, we have um, meetings with other departments on campus. Um, always trying to work together. This isn't, uh, uh, this isn't just a uh, an island ministry. Uh, we try very, very hard to work with all the other great offices on campus, especially student affairs. 
um, to serve the needs of our, of our young people. Um, we work in the office until five. We celebrate mass. Uh, the last mass on campus is 1030 at night. Um, and in between that, we, we have adoration on many, on, on Wednesday nights, we have all kinds of uh, prayer meetings that happen in the evening. And we still meet with many student groups as well. Well, there are an impressive number of activities listed on the website. Where can viewers check it out and, and learn a little bit more? Well, if you go to campusministry.cua.edu, that's the website, and it's a great place to see, uh, you know, the different activities and to see how people sign up for these, uh, whether it's uh, one of the eight, uh, 28 opportunities each week for community service or what's happening with the mission trip team or whatever it is, you can look there and see. And, and as you spoke before about uh, a place to offer prayers, we also have that for our students. They can they can um, sign in and we can offer prayers for their needs and intentions as well. Well, Father, it's great to see you again. And thanks so much for taking the time to join us and tell us a little bit about campus life down there at Catholic University of America. Have a great day. Thank you so much. God bless. God bless. Keep that door open. <laughs>